Hi, Ben Davis here from OneStruck, specialising in luxury sloping lot homes and raise and build under renovations. At OneStruck, we get asked a lot of questions. One of the main questions is how do you actually raise a house? Today, I'm going to take you through that process. One way to introduce more space into a renovation is to raise the existing house and build in underneath. This construction method can be used on timber subfloor homes, which are very common throughout Brisbane, with the most popular style named a Queenslander after the state. This construction method involves demolishing the lower level of the structure, raising the house and building in underneath. It allows the new space of the home to be created below the footprint of the existing home without encroaching on the back and front yards. To give you a quick overview of the house raise process, here is some time lapse footage from a recent one struct raise and build under project. This clip shows you throughout the entire process from demolition, store installation, earthworks, and finally lowering the house. Now let's break it down. In step one, we complete an analysis of the existing plans versus the proposed plans. Here we identify how much the house needs to be raised if the house requires repositioning and how the existing structure needs to be modified. Next, we engage a surveying company to complete surveying works on site. This entails the installation of pegs on site, which distinguishes the site boundaries, the proposed house location and floor heights. This allows us to complete step three, checking the existing structure location against the surveying points. We can then set up profiles on site based on the surveying points to double check the calculations from step one to make sure they match with the actual measurements on site. Step four involves pre-raised demolition and asbestos removal. If required, we engage a specialist asbestos demolition company to remove the asbestos materials from site. This is followed by our team demolishing the required building components, including internal walls, ceiling linings, and external walls. Following the demolition phase, we install the new engineered steel beams. These are required for the new structure to facilitate the raising of the house. These are installed and form an essential part of the skeleton of the new structure. The one struck team constantly monitors progress during the house raise. A site inspection is carried out once the beams are installed, checking them against the architectural and engineering plans, and finally the specifications. Final checks are then completed by the project structural engineer who signs off on the installation. This is where things get exciting. Step six encompasses timber styes being installed underneath the house to take the load in place of the old post. The timber styes, jangle like pieces, are placed underneath the existing structure and make contact with the new steel beams. Now that the timber styes support the house, the remaining posts can be disconnected. Step eight involves lifting the house with hydraulic jacks. This is achieved by placing multiple hydraulic jacks around the structure under the steel beams. Two teams then use jacks to push the house up on one side by approximately 100 mil. After the house has been raised, more timber styes are installed under the newly raised section to support the structure. Steps eight and nine are then repeated until the house reaches the relevant height. The structure is raised an additional 20 mil to facilitate the structure being lowered onto the new posts later in the process. The earthworks is a transformative step in the process. Earthworks machines are deployed on site to clear the required building components such as old concrete slab, posts and any other required items. The pad for the final concrete slab is then cut to the height nominated on the plan by removing the earth. Finally, the board piers for the new posts are dug with the earthworks machine in preparation for the installation with concrete. Step 12 involves hanging the new posts and concreting the posts into position. Once the board piers are dug, measurements can then be taken for the new steel posts. The steel posts are then delivered to site, fixing them into position and securing into place with concrete and the steel as specified by the structural engineer. The styes can then be removed as the new posts are now taking the load of the house. The steel posts are then welded to the steel beams 
to fasten the structure together. The hydraulic jacks are removed as the new steel posts are now supported to the structure. I hope the video has aided in your understanding of how to raise a house. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. You'll find our contact information at the end of the video. Take care for now, and we look forward to bringing you more educational videos.